Well, we finally made it. At last, we can set you free from your curse, Kanan. I'd appreciate it if you could hurry. I really don't want something like this in my head any longer than I need to. Hey, just what is the data inside of Kanan anyway? Put simply, it contains the identity of the mastermind behind the Milshan conflict. Hold on a second. The mastermind behind the conflict was... Hmm. The madman Joachim Mizrahi. At least that's what everyone thinks. But, just because most people believe something doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. Wait, what do you mean? You're about to find out. You're familiar with the UTIC organization? Sure. It's the organization established by Joachim Mizrahi to study the Zohar. We've gone through hell thanks to them. So what about the UTIC? The UTIC organization was originally a part of the Federation. Professor Mizrahi was apparently using the data he obtained from studying the Zohar to convert UTIC into a military organization. But he never actually told the Federation government. He kept them in the dark. But there's something else that's strange about this. It takes an enormous amount of money to fund research and weaponry. Yet there's no evidence that the Federation ever provided that kind of financial backing. So someone else was funding them from behind the scenes? That's right. Almost all of the UTIC organization's enterprises were nothing more than dummy corporations. That is, all except one. Just one? This data includes recorded information regarding a business known as Hyams. It's highly likely that this company was the one that actually provided the money. And the head of the Hyams outfit, a man named Heinlein, happens to be one of the cardinals of the immigrant fleet. So, are you saying that the UTIC organization has connections to the immigrant fleet? Did Daddy... Did Daddy have connections to the immigrant fleet, too? No. I presume Professor Mizrahi was merely being used. Their objective was to acquire research data on the Zohar. Even the Realian outbursts that sparked the Milshan conflict were believed to be part of their experiments. But something else happened that they couldn't have predicted. Udu awoke, and the door to purgatory opened. And the Gnosis appeared. Everyone must have thought it was the end of the world. But that didn't happen. Momo, the truth of the matter is, your father wasn't a madman at all. In the ensuing chaos, Professor Mizrahi had to make a vital decision in order to prevent the worst-case scenario. What decision? He knew he had to somehow isolate the Zohar, Udu, and all of Milsha, and seal their power in a place where no one could touch it. So, the reason Milsha was swallowed up by the Abyss was because Professor Mizrahi... A great many people were sacrificed for his sake. That's probably the reason he brought judgment down upon himself. To put an end to everything. Your father tried to save the world you were about to be born into. And... Then he entrusted his secrets to you. The one he could trust most. Uh, Daddy? I knew it! I'm so... I'm so happy! Wait a second. So if we just hand over the Zohar to the immigrant fleet, they'll... Yes. 
they will likely repeat the tragedy from 14 years ago. Please go on without me. I'm going to send this data to Representative Helmer. Kanan, please handle the data backup. Understood. You. I see. No wonder the air defense system was useless. Right? You are TV. Don't. Don't call me that! <laughs> that helmet. He certainly managed to assemble an impressive ensemble. But your coming here now is pointless. We've already accomplished our objective. The Zohar is now under our control. There's nothing you can do. The outcome is already decided. What the hell are you thinking? That thing is way beyond anything you can handle. Do you have any idea what's going to happen? Of course I do. The annoying Gnosis, as well as a few pathetic weed-like humans, who are arguably even more worthless than the Gnosis, are going to disappear, just like Ariadne. You bastard! But weak as your position is, we still can't allow anything to interfere with our plans. Time to die! <laughs> <laughs> It's been 14 years, hasn't it, Uzuki? Personally, I would have preferred to never see you again. <gasps> Jin! The blade is for carving one's heart, not for turning against the masses. That's what our master once said, was it not? <laughs> this is perfect. I can't believe you're still a part of this, Uzuki. Once again, you insist on standing against me. There were still a few things I wanted to look into. These people were nice enough to give me a lift. Absurd. Nothing has changed here. You know it was careless of you not to erase those records 14 years ago. Now you can never return to the Federation. Or perhaps... Were you a bit too busy to worry about that at the time? I see you still talk too much. Very well. If you really want to know, you'll have to use that sword to make me talk. Naturally. That was my intent. Do not expect this to end like it did before. Uzuki! <laughs> Exhilaration! I told you. 
I won't allow a monster like you to inherit my grandfather's technique! <clears throat> Bold words from such a fool! spent my time running a used bookstore. I regret that now. <laughs> I'll make sure you die a painful death someday. Who's okay? I'll send all of you to your graves! Rico Ital. Las Eriko Ital.
I'll show you how different we are! La Ferrico y Tal.
La Ferrito y Tal. La Ferrito y Tal.
Colossal Rico Ital. Las Eruto y Paz. La Solita y Tal. La Solita y Tal. La Solita y Tal.
die! You're as dangerous as ever. But no matter how hard you struggle, there's nothing you can do now. I hope you savor your abject despair. You are powerless. Uzuki, if you want to settle this, you'll have to survive first. Looks like we made it in time. Look, that's the Zohar. The original. <sighs> this place. I saw it in my dream. The cage Feb sisters were trapped in. What cage? Xi'an. I am detecting faint life signs in the capsules in front of us. Life signs? That is correct. Their design is quite old, however, they are definitely realians. Is there any way we can help them? Unfortunately, because they are fused with the system, it appears they have already lost their individual functionality and consciousness. In their current state, separating them from the system would result in complete shutdown. Bastards! Why'd they do this? Because using them in their natural state proved difficult. Was necessary to isolate their consciousness from the outside world. Who the hell are you? Why would the leader of the immigrant fleet be here? There's really no need for me to answer questions from the likes of you. Very well. The Zohar, that object originally belonged to us, to Ormus. Yes, since the dawn of recorded history, we have been its guardians. In turn, we use it in any way we see fit. That is the way of things. Ormus. So that's the real name of your organization. That's right. Ormus has existed in the shadows since ancient times. Indeed, since before the crucifixion of the Messiah. Human beings, no. All life throughout the universe must be guided forward by Ormus and the Zohar. And they shall be led unto a higher plane of existence. That is the mission that God has entrusted to us. Damn you! You... You did this to them for that? What? Is there a problem? They are tools created specifically for that purpose. Shut up! I 
refuse. I refuse to accept this. You refuse? And we'll just have to make you accept it. This power is granted to us by God. and cut the bypass to the Zohar. Cosmos, wait! They're still... Shion, if you interfere, I will be required to take drastic measures. No! Cosmos! Shion. Seems I may have underestimated you slightly. These past 14 years have been of great help to us, as has the data from the conflict. As a result, we now have a symbol of overwhelming power. With this, we will wipe the Gnosis from the cosmos and place the entire star cluster under the jurisdiction of Ormus. Of course, we hardly need anything this overwhelming now, thanks to the UNN and the Federation. They've managed to reduce the people to a simple mass of spineless weaklings. Xion, out of the way! Wasting your time! <laughs> now... Let the festival begin!
Melsha. They destroyed the entire planet? How the hell could they do that? I see. So Proto-Omega has awakened. With this, our plan can now proceed to the next level. The commander will surely be pleased as well. What's going on? Are you alright? Hey! <laughs> you... I've taken control of the Parliament. A reinforcement fleet is already on its way. I won't allow you to continue. You... But you died! Fourteen years ago! <laughs> Give your commander a message for me. I'm not going to die. Not now. Not ever. Reinforcements? Damn Federation. Do they really want to destroy us that badly? <laughs> it matters not. I'll show them the errors of their ways. Modulus, take the fleet and eliminate them. <laughs> What is it? Margulis, did you not hear me? I think perhaps it would be better if you went yourself, Holiness. What? You lost your senses, Margulis. I am your master. Now do as I say. You appear to misunderstand the situation. We Inquisitors serve but one master. Surely your holiness is aware of that. Everything has transpired exactly as we have planned. All that's left now is for you to die a martyr, holiness. Damn you! You can't mean Heinlein! I bid you farewell, holiness. So this is where you went. Leave me alone. Everyone's already transferred to the Durandal. You should hurry up and... I said leave me alone! <sighs> it's just like it was 14 years ago. It was exactly the same. Feb was... She was killed right in front of me. I was all alone. I couldn't do anything myself, so I just ran! And again... I still couldn't do anything. Xion... Why? Why did it have to be me? I never wanted to feel like that again. Xion... Did you not understand what Fabronia wanted? I think... There was another whom she loved just as much as her sisters. Another? Who? Another sister, bound by the chains of her past. I think she probably wanted to save that sister just as much as her real sisters. Another sister? Don't you see? That's why she chose you and gave you that painful role. Feb wanted... 
for me. Xion, it's up to you now whether you choose to withdraw from this painful world or learn to accept it. But I can say this much. No matter what you choose, you will not be alone. Or do you still not understand Fabronia's feelings? Jin. Now please, go. Now is not the time to let everyone down. Jin. I... I'll go on ahead. I really am hopeless. Fabronia, I am truly envious of you. You were able to do for Xion what I, her own brother, should have done. Now the question is, what can I possibly do for Xion? Or even still, what can I do about my own past? Little Master, a private transmission has arrived for you on a general channel. What's up? It's compressed in an encoded format. Shall I open it? Yeah, put it on. You! It's been a long time, my dear son. Junior's father? Dr. Dmitry Yuryev? I heard about what happened 14 years ago. Sounds like Albedo made contact with Udu and managed to cause a space-time anomaly alteration. That is most regrettable. Bastard! You knew if we confronted Udu, it might have destroyed Milsha. How could you do that? Oh, please. I don't recall raising you URTVs to be idiots. If we could save the Star Cluster at the cost of a single planet, I'd say that's a small price to pay. Acceptable losses. I hate that term. Now that we are faced with Udu's potential reawakening, we must eradicate any and all uncertainties. We've determined that there will be an attempt to recontact Udu. You must move immediately to eliminate the target, Rubido. Recontact? You mean Albedo? Yes. He was infected and he has fallen. <laughs> I'll atone for my past mistakes, but I will not do it by killing Albedo. Instead, I'll make him stop this insanity. As you wish. I look forward to your results, Ruby Dome. <laughs> Shelly, where did that transmission come from? I am sorry. The route was scrambled. It's impossible to trace. <laughs> that old bastard! Junior. 